One of the key things to get right in logistics outsourcing, and it's going to sound so obvious, is picking the right partner. And yet, why do so many organizations get it wrong? This week, I'm going to share some tips to help you pick the right logistics outsourcing partner. Coming right up. So it's a tricky time for logistics outsourcing on both sides of the fence at the moment. Um, I'm still a great advocate for logistics outsourcing. I think for most organizations it makes sense, it allows them to focus on the core, it gives them access to technology and skills they may not have in-house, it gives them uh, added capability and capacities but it's getting harder and harder. Why is that? Well, over the last few years, we've seen uh, things such as driver shortages, we've seen shortages of warehousing space, uh, we've seen a lot of rationalization of the industry, and all of this is making it harder and harder to find the right logistics outsourcing partner, but people are still rushing into it and, and not taking a considered approach and really going through a careful process to pick their outsourcing partner. So I'm going to share with you seven things to consider when you're looking at logistics outsourcing partners. And if you've got more, I would love to hear them. Put them in the comments down below. Uh, I'm going to share seven. These are in no particular order or priority, but let's kick off with industry experience. Most of the time, you're going to want to approach uh, logistics companies that have experience in your industry. If it's a little bit of a left field industry, you're going to be looking for companies that have experience with similar industries or industries with similar characteristics. It doesn't make sense, for example, you know, if you're hauling sheet metal to be talking to companies that are used to you know, dealing with tinned foods. And I've seen that happen. <laughs> so you want to be talking to companies that have a good experience in your industry or at least good capability that fits well with your industry. So that's an obvious one to start with. Next one I would say, number two, is the people fit. And this happens on all sorts of levels. One, you're probably thinking culture. Yes, uh, you, ideally you should be working with this organization long term, you know, five, ten years at least. Um, and, and you want to have a good cultural fit with this uh, logistics outsourcing company. But there are other things to look at. One, what's, what about the management team? Do you get on well with the management team? Do you think you're gonna be able to work with them long term? Uh, do you get a sense when you're looking around their facilities that there's a good culture there? I, you know, I've looked at so many 3PL warehouses, for example, you can walk through and within five or 10 minutes, you get a sense of you know, whether people are happy working here, whether they're motiv motivated, whether they're really sort of customer service focused, you just get that buzz from people and the things that you see around you, you know, the, uh, the performance KPI boards and all that kind of stuff. So you really want to make sure that you've got a good people fit, cultural fit. Number three, I would suggest is a good fit in terms of size and capacity. You don't necessarily want to be going with a tier one 3PL if you're quite a small company. There's always this fear that, you know, you're kind of, well, you kind of get left behind. They're going to focus on their big customers and, and not the small ones. Maybe your contract's not big enough to be of interest to them and, and for them to give you the right sort of focus. You know, it's sad, but it happens. So make sure that you're looking at logistics companies that are a good fit for you in terms of their size. And you know, conversely, if you're a huge multi-billion dollar multinational, uh, you probably want to be looking at those first tier guys as well. So number four, performance. This is a really tricky one. How do you check on their performance? I've sat in presentations, um, you know, here at Logistics Bureau, I've been helping companies go through this process for almost 30 years. And, and I've, I've sat through 3PL presentations where they have been telling their potential client, you know, the wonderful they've jo job they've done with this company and that company and all the rest of it. And I had to say to the client company, you know, do check out these references because I don't think the performance was quite what they were saying. Um, you know, you need to, it's, it's a little bit like having references on a CV, isn't it? People don't put bad ones on a CV. You've got to get out and do as much reference checking off your own bat as you can. Um, and, and, you know, look at that performance with companies like yours, look at how they track their KPIs, what sort of KPIs are they measuring, what sort of performance are they measuring. So all of that is really important. Number five, I think you should probably look at their approach to innovation. 
What you don't want is a company where you're putting out you know, a request for tender, a request for proposal, and, and all they do is basically quote on what you've provided. I'm always looking for new ideas. Um, you know, have they come back and said, yeah, you know, we, we can do what you're asking and here's our rate structures and all the rest of it, but have you thought about this? You know, are they actually offering innovative solutions for your particular business? Are, have they got a continuous improvement program in place? You don't necessarily want to be hiring a company that's just going to be doing what they're told all the time. You want a company that's going to be coming to you with ideas. Number six, IT fit. <laughs> have you been involved in logistics outsourcing? If there's one thing that's going to screw it all up and delay things, it's the IT integration. Um, so whatever your ERP system is, your warehouse management system, inventory systems, customer service systems, have a good look to see are they used to interf interfacing or dealing with those systems that you have. You know, if, if they do, great. Uh, and I'd be wanting to talk to their implementation managers to understand how they go through those implementations and, and how they overcome specific issues. So IT fit is really important. And number seven, I haven't put this at the end because I think it's least important. It's probably one of the most important, but the solution fit. The companies that you're looking at, do they have warehouse locations that fit your requirements? Do they, do they offer the right services? Uh, do they have the right sort of equipment to handle your sort of products? I mean, the solution fit kind of goes without saying, but a lot of people glance over it or they get bamboozled by all the sales hype and go, no, oh, we really like these people. You know, I'm sure they'll actually build the capability. No, you want to see that capability on the ground. You want to see evidence of that. So there we go. Seven quick things to check uh, when you're trying to source logistics outsourcing partners, some things to consider. I could probably come up with another 10. What do you think? Feel free to add some more down below. I'd love to see it in the comments down below. And hey, if you're going through an outsourcing program or you're thinking of going through an outsourcing program and you need some help, well, you know where to find me. Just look up Logistics Bureau. This is the sort of stuff that we do every day of the week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.